Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, our video number three in our series, uh, creating an in-context uh, assembly and all the parts that are associated with that, also called a down, a top-down approach. What we're modeling here is a handgun, and what we've done in the previous uh, videos is we've uh, uh, put in, put together our assembly with uh, design sketches that are de designed to drive uh, some of the geometry of the parts are going to be following out. So in a previous one we put in a revolver barrel and something that needs to be mentioned about that, uh, just for your own uh, information. I uh, went ahead and we initially called that a revolver uh, round, I believe. And I, um, what I did is I went ahead and opened that up and um, resaved it as a revolver barrel. So now we have two parts. One's within context, the revolver barrel, which is inside of our assembly here. And the other one's not going to be in context anymore. It's going to be the revolver round. So I went ahead and deleted the revolver round, kept the revolver barrel part, and we're going to work for, with it uh, from there. So one thing to keep in mind about that is that if you're going to be making uh, any sort of edits to a, your part, it's probably a pretty, uh, pretty good idea to have your assembly, if it's in context, have your assembly open at the same time so that the assembly can get updated when a part gets updated, and so on and so forth. You don't want to break that continuity because it's uh, sometimes hard to reestablish it. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, insert a new part. The new part we want to do is the base of the gun, and it's going to consist of three different features within that part. Uh, four, actually, if you consider the whole of the barrel. But we're going to do the handle, uh, the body in this area, the barrel up here, and then the hole that goes down the middle of the barrel. We're going to put that in. That will be our fourth feature. So let's do this. We're going to do this in a similar manner that we've done in other videos. Let's go to insert component. We want a new part. We're going to do this in a different way from our... Uh, our menu, and I believe uh, the, the error is here, and I'm not certain why I have that error there, but I believe the error in regard to the template file is that it's uh, perhaps the routing isn't in there, but I'll show you how to correct that, because uh, when I get the part in there, I have to go into my document properties and change some things. But once we do that, minor inconvenience, we can move on from there. So anyways, it's asking which uh, part, in regard to our part, the front plane of our part, which uh, surface or um, plane do we want to associate that with in our assembly and that's going to be the front plane to the front plane. So we're going to click on front plane. And again, just like with our other part, it automatically uh, opens up uh, that editing component within our, compare, our um, command manager and automatically starts us on a sketch on that front plane. So we don't necessarily want to be on the front plane, we want to be on the right plane. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild that, takes that empty sketch element out of there and we're going to choose the right plane within the part itself. So when you do something like this, when you're modeling in, in context here, you want to make sure that you go down as far down the tree as you can, and uh, you don't want to be modeling on the right plane of the assembly, you want to model on the right plane of the part itself. In this case, uh, you know, it just avoids errors that you might run into later. So we're going to click on that right plane, go to sketch, of course if we click on that we can go automatically just jump right into the sketch uh, button there and there. And what we want to do is we're going to select some contours. We're going to select the contours of all the everything that we have on our right plane, on the right plane or the right sketch that's drawn in the assembly. So let's go to convert entities and start selecting some uh, elements. Uh, let's go ahead and select chain in this too. Okay, should have done that first, but uh, took an extra step. But now we have the the chain that's associated with uh, the handle. We're going to click in this line, that thin line that uh, kind of connects those two uh, together. So it's a bold line out here, and that's a thin line here just because it breaks the chain of uh, what was originally drawn on um, in our right sketch on the assembly. We're going to continue clicking. That brings us over, over here. We're going to click on that line. And that should pretty much enclose all the uh, all the sketch elements that define the outside of the of our gun base. We also want to get that cut out for the for the revolver, for the revolver barrel. And once we do that, go to the green check mark, and now we have our all of our sketches that we need. And we're going to do this with a uh, select contours option when we go through this. So we're going to have a, uh, our part's going to consist of uh, three different features initially, and our fourth feature is going to be that hole. So let's start with, uh, let's start with our handle. So now we want to go up to features, extrude boss space. Instead of blind, we want to go up to vertex. And what we, want, what we want to do initially is probably do the handle, so we're going to click on that as our first one. Direction number two, up to vertex. And just to be different, we're going to click on that point. Select your contours, we're going to select inside of there. And green check mark. And we're going to call that our handle. Select that sketch. We can do that again, extrude boss space. 
we can select this as our contour but initially we're going to go to uh, up to vertex in this one click on that point and just put it into position so we can see that a little bit better direction number two we're going to click on that point and then green check mark and the same thing over here we're going to borrow uh, we're going to rename this we're going to call this our the body borrow that sketch extrude boss space same thing again up to vertex click on that point and just to show you, you can uh, select a, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily the same uh, vertex, uh, you know, one right across from another. We can uh, select this one here too. You know, if you go to select contours in here, for some reason, I'm not certain why it's doing this, but I'm in, unable to get the contour in here, but if I get closer to the edge over here, it does allow me to, to select it. So, you might find that to be uh, helpful if it's not selected for you. Green check mark. So there's uh, the base of our gun, kind of the body of the gun. We have the handle, the body, and uh, the revolver portion of it, or not the revolver, but the barrel portion of it. So let's go ahead and put a hole in here. And before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, rename that. Just call that the barrel. Click in this face. Sketch. And the sketch element up here, what we want to do is uh, do a convert entities. We want to be able to borrow this feature in here which right now has only been associated with our revolver barrel and we're going to associate it uh, now with the revolver uh, or the you know the gun base as uh, one of the features uh, for that one too so we're going to borrow the same sketch element that's going to define both of those parts yeah, sometimes it's difficult to select these things and uh, I can pick up some of the lines and some of the edges but I can't seem to pick up the sketches but if I right click on that go to uh, select other it gives me a list of uh, items in here that I can select, so I'm going to go ahead and select Arc 2 on the front sketch. And then if I go to the green check mark, or go to Rebuild, should put that there. Oh, where'd it go? Let's try that again. We're going to go ahead and click in this face, and maybe I didn't select that face initially. I probably didn't do that. Go to Sketch, go to Convert Entities. Let's go ahead and select on that, uh, that arc that defines that and then green check mark for converted entities and that should be in pretty good shape and I also selected the face over here so that's a real easy fix it's probably a good idea when you do select uh, um, uh, convert entities that you uh, click off to the side once you select that face in order to select that face for uh, the plane you're and the surface you're going to be drawing on to click off to the side first okay pretty winded there let's go ahead and extrude that go to our features extrude cut and let's do up to next. I should put that hole in there. And now we're in pretty good shape there. So it's starting to come together. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video or finish this part in the next video and show you a couple of other things. And then we're going to take these parts and put them together into a different assembly and show you how that comes together.